Okay, in this talk, we're going to just look at simple data structures, linked list, tax, and queue. Okay, so what is a linked list? Linked list is you have a head, pointer to a head, and you have some data, and the data has another pointer to the next data, and it goes on and on, and eventually, the last data will have a null, saying that no more data. So this is a simple linked list. So let's see what are the advantages, disadvantages of something like this. So unlike an array, there's no fixed size. You can add data as you want, but there's an overhead per every data item. You have to have a pointer to the next one. And a data item is a single integer. It could be double the size because a pointer would be another integer size pointer. 4 bytes or 8 bytes and 64 bit. So a lot of, and then second problem would be if you had an array, you could directly access say item number 8. But in kind of a linked list, you need to traverse from the beginning to end. And that's one problem. But if you had big data structures like structs, then linking and adding and removing is easy. Deletion and addition is constant time. You just have to go find the item, remove it, and then point change the pointer and, and free this item. Addition of suppose the pointer this one, you could just add out here another item, malloc and add. That will be fast. So array, it takes a lot more time. You need to double the size of the array and then copy the array to add a single element to resize an array. Okay, so we have another case of kind of linked list, doubly linked list, in, in which you have a pointer to head and then you can go to next, 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 or you can go backwards. And then the last guy points to the first and the first guy also points to the last. So you can go both ways. So it's easy to insert and delete. A single linked list, if you had this point, you don't know what a previous guy is. You need to have a pointer both. If you need to delete this one, you need to have a no uh, the pointer to the previous one also. But there's no pointer to the previous one out here. Suppose you just point in this guy, you can only have a pointer next guy. In a double linked list, you have pointers both ways. So deletion is very fast and insertion similar would be fast. You just add element and rearrange the pointers. So properties of like basically there are a lot of advantages to linked list and a lot of disadvantages to linked list. Disadvantages is searching it takes longer. You need to traverse linked list. Advantages are easy to add and remove. And you can resize very easily. Add stuff, delete stuff. So we have singly linked list. We have circular singly linked list. That means the last guy points to the first guy. And doubly linked list. We just saw that. And doubly circular linked list. The last guy points to the first guy. They all are similar. Double, all the double are similar size and singular are similar thing. Because in double case, you need two pointers per data element. Okay, so and then we have. Okay, this is a definition from Wikipedia or somewhere. And then you have predecessor and successor of X. And the, the first one is called the head. And the circular and double linked list. So these are definitions which I already discussed. Okay, so insertion and deletion are the primary operation of linked list. It has been in a certain order. This will be a typical interview question for beginners. Would be how do you insert element into a doubly or singly linked list? You have a new node out here. You allocate it. First thing is you edit the new node. You put a pointer to this guy and the, and the next guy. Then one, two. Then you change the pointer from the Joshua to Leah and from Miriam to Leah okay it has to be done in certain order otherwise you lose pointers to because uh, you won't be able to recreate your data structure if you do in the wrong order okay so if you write a code it will be pretty simple like four lines of code and the next thing is stack stack is like a stack of books what's the property of a stack and you, you can add data on the top and remove data from the top but you can you can access maybe data inside, but it's hard to remove data from below. Okay, so the adding data is called push, and popping uh, removing data is called pop. And typically, stacks are used for uh, recursive coding. When you have, say, for example, a function call, you need to save all your parameters. You push it on a stack and go to uh, the call function, and then the call function sees just a black box uh, of a stack and some pointers to local variables and then when a function has its own stack to write on stack frame when it's done it pops the stack and goes back to the calling function and second use for stack is for a lot of algorithms need a stack to keep track of the state as they do recursive um, 
analysis of the algorithm okay so here's the example you push pop and at the bottom this color last 10 first out stack so the last guy to come in is the first guy to go out is a stack and a FIFO is actually a queue you push from one side and pop from other side okay and SP is typically used for stack pointer you'll see a lot of it in programming okay stack can also be linked list and the insertion and deletion is only done at the top top of the stack so do you have pop and push you can push some X element onto the top of the stack okay that's pretty straightforward queue is similar when you stand in the queue the one side you get the front you remove elements and the back you add elements so it's called NQ and deck DQ and NQ NQ means to add something 83 DQ means to remove 46 from here okay that's pretty straightforward so uh, uh, from the elements are removed from only one end and deletions are done from the front okay and they add and delete and then we have something called a circular queue because if you had a queue a linear queue it would run pretty soon it'll be pointers will go to the end of a queue so in circular queue what advantage is that you have a head pointer and a tail pointer you probably need to keep one extra space and as you keep head head keeps moving around and the tail you keep removing and if the tail ca ca catches up with the head then you are out of space the queue is full otherwise you can just keep moving around and the round is actually just a modular arithmetic the front of the queue is there, rear of the queue so as you keep removing it will keep moving and you don't need to re, uh, do any kind of copying at all during the operation it doesn't get as long as you don't fill up too many the queue doesn't overflow you can just keep using it okay that's about it for simple data structures